Do you want to hit me right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, give her a hickey like right now? God. Met you in the winter when I was a mystery. It was cold, but I was full of fire. And you said you like my okay, yeah. a strong mind. You like sunshine. Oh. You kept me every time I mess it up. And everybody says that things are bound to change. But I hope they stay the same. Cause you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, should we film? Yeah, 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 because I got this one idea. Okay. We should dress up as grandmas. Oh, and then I think that would go that. viral, right? You got me setting all I know on fire. Because you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Yeah, baby. You fucking. Yo, you, you beat me. You looking all good. You trying to show off in front of them, huh? That's what you trying to do? I mean, I was just trying to get my day started early. Mm -hmm. We got a whole camera set up. She trying to look good for you. That's what she trying to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially after last night, yo. After last night. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get you. I didn't get you. No. Tight. No. I mean, I mean, Chill. What was that? Oh, I mean, it was cool. I'm saying it was good. Babe, what? What was it? I mean, it was good. Why you go high with it? Oh my god, you overthinking it right now. Come Why on. are we talking about this in front of them right Come now? Come on, babe. Because you know, I put the fucking work in. Okay. Don't blame me like that. Okay, wait, we could talk about it later. You the one that brought it up. I didn't bring it up. You decided to talk about it. Come on, babe. All right. What? I'm gonna go get, what you want for breakfast? I'm gonna go make something. Well, I mean, do I need, uh, I'm trying to get you for breakfast, obviously. I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something, too. All right, I'll improvise. <laughs> baby, what? You are silly, I cannot. Bro, what the fuck? How she gonna do me like that, bro? We got the whole set up, got my boy Joseph my behind the camera. Bro, what am I supposed to do with that? You heard the high pitch? When I tell y'all, I literally, I put it in that word, bro. Like, I was, I was just banging that book. Ain't it, bro? And she gonna do that. I mean, you're good. We already converted her to the other side, and now she playing me like I don't really got the juice, the sauce. Hold up. My homegirl, Shan. Y'all remember Shan? Shan was the one that did, remember we did the whole therapy live? If I hit my homegirl, Shan up, baby, we can get a little. Extra spicy, cause I'm already spice everything nice. You feel me, bro? You feel me? Yeah. Give me if you feel me, I'm really there. I like that. But you know, baby saying she gave me the high pitch. Maybe I wasn't on my P's and Q's, you feel me? So maybe I hit my girl Shan up and then we get a little extra spicy. The bread's good though, right? You can't even tell that it's not really bro, bread. This just tastes like y'all, this tastes it's just I mean, we're trying to eat healthy, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep it lean in between, you know what I'm saying? You cannot tell. I think that my problem was when I made you that, the egg sandwich, I put it like in the toaster. That's so it got hard as a rock. Like it was so hard. Pause. <laughs> or don't pause. God, <laughs> you and the what's with you? Uh, uh, I mean, it's just the fact that, okay, look, I'm still thinking about earlier and last night, like the simple fact you try to play me oh on God. camera. Why you do the high pitch, baby? Like, keep it 100. What high pitch? It was like a... <laughs> 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 you was overthinking it right now. Baby, I know you like the back of my head. Like, every single thing on the back of my head, I know you like that, like that. Like, okay, so look, so this is, this is, this is, I got an idea. Okay. I'm not over, I'm not overthinking it. What if I hit up Shan? And, you know, I, I, I don't want to go down the road because, like, our sex life has been improved so much since we had the therapy session, right? So what if we get along better? Yeah, we get along way better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We get along better, and she was super helpful to our lives. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, like, what if we, like, go to her and get, like, not sex therapy, but sex therapy? Hey, I'm confused by the grinding. What What are you trying to say? Like she, because the first time we didn't get sex therapy it was regular therapy. It was, but we were still talking about our sex life. You know what? Okay, what I'm saying is like, 
<laughs> what is she, like, cause you did that high pitch thing, like, what is she like, you know, put up, put us up on more game about, like, in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm down, that sounds fun. You are? Can we, when can we go? You're down? Yeah. You say you don't think I'm good enough. It's not bad. What is going on right, right. now? This is this. That was a test. That it's was a not test. That. It was a test. Yes, it was a test. You think I'm trash? No. I'm sure everyone that goes to Shan doesn't think they're trash. It's just sometimes. What? Okay, I, this is obviously. I was, baby, what? This is obviously not a safe space for me to tell you. Okay, no, no, we can go. No, no, we can go to Shan. I just was just didn't think you would agree to it. Like, okay, we can. I'll hit her up. I'll hit her up. But like, damn, baby. I'm gonna go get dressed. I'm not saying that it, it's really good. You already know. It's no. I let never, them know, cause obviously they don't fucking know. Why are you worried about them? Cause they here. They here. Those are here. Look, you trying to play me? You on the other side. You like girls. Exactly. Point proven. That's all I got to say. Like literally, I. You're the only girl that I like. So. Was it? Was it? Was it? What was it? So obviously it was. It was. Give me supposed to give, okay. or I wouldn't be here. Okay, I just okay. So I just I just wanted to offer Shan. I'm not insecure or nothing. You're acting like it because I didn't even say anything. You're going all based off of a pitch of a voice. You know the reason why I don't really I don't talk about this on camera like that. So that was probably the pitch of the voice. I'm gonna go get dressed. This will be fun either way. What do you wear on a day when you're about to learn about sex? I don't know. I'm thinking something maybe romantic. Maybe a red blouse or something? Y'all, I don't know. I'm excited about this, but I just feel like easy is just being so dramatic. Like, I don't think we really need to do this. And I wasn't trying to imply anything. She just now she's confusing me. Like, I don't even know how I feel. I don't even know what I think, but there's no issues. It's just that Shan is fun and we've always had so much fun with Shan. So we're just gonna, I mean, this is her idea. She's making me feel guilty. It's not that we need it. Our, our, our relationship is legitimately so much better since, um, since our last, like, well, since we like aired so much out with that therapy session and we put it out there to the world and we just really been working on relationships so much. So to be honest, we don't need this, but I think because we learned so much through it last time, I'm just like really excited. So uh, you, you too excited about this, man. <laughs> You're way too fucking excited. I don't know what to expect. I've seen her videos and I know like, she be going all out, you know? We she gonna, be going all out. We gonna have a good Everyone's time. gonna be learning something today. Who do I'm a little nervous, y'all. I don't know what to expect, but we gonna get her back freaky, you know what I'm saying? Do you think she's gonna have us like, doing things or just kind of retalking? Like, Shane's the type of person that literally is so like straight to the point. Yeah. So if she, instead of like vagina, she's gonna say, Oh my like, god. She's gonna just say, Yeah, okay, so don't touch her. Oh, whoa. You think she's gonna ask you to do that? She ain't like that. She, she really like that. Like, she's <laughs> not gonna, no, because at the end of the day, she's still a professional. <laughs> we are not shooting a porn crazy. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Shan Boudram. I'm a certified sexologist, intimacy educator with an educational background in psychology and sex education counseling. And today I'm about to help Easy and Natalie spice up their sex life. It's something that you hear a lot about, but I wanna give tangible, clear takeaways and lots of opportunities for great orgasms and beyond. All right, we're back. Hi. We're back. Shan Booty! What's up? Yeah, what's up? Oh, oh yeah, yes. it's spicy! Oh, 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 hair looks wow. great, skin looks great. Thank you guys don't you. need me, you're obviously having sex. I mean, yeah. since last time we see you, it's yeah, like it's it's way better. Life yes. is good. Life is great. Life is amazing, first off. Life yeah. is good. Um, you guys look stimulated. Yeah. I look at you, like, these are some stimulated women. Yes. So I'm very happy to have you. Well, I, so I thought, Shan, so I thought. Okay, tell me more. So last night, as I was telling you, um, you know, I thought I was at work. Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought I was doing it, like doing it, doing it, right? And she seemed as though that she was very, very into it. But this morning, she gave me one of those, that feels good. 
you know? You asked, what would you ask? I mean, I asked. I was like, yeah, I put it down last night, you know? And she was just like, Ugh. But she did one of those, it's and I've so never dramatic. heard that. Wait, she's being dramatic. I just said it was good. What do you, you're a sex expert. Here's what I think. The reason why your guys' love is so powerful and mm -hmm. so strong and has everything that it takes mm -hmm. to stand the test of time mm -hmm. is exactly the story. Because whether or not it was a, it was good, meaning it was bad, or it was good, like good enough, you're still here. Like you took action immediately. See, that counts though. So. It did. Immediately it does, it you're does. like, okay. I want the best. Mm -hmm. I want the most. I mm -hmm. want you to be pleased. I want to feel good about our sex life. So I'm going to call and ask for help. So I yeah. think it's beautiful. An expert. Yeah. Well, what was it? Just out of curiosity's sake. Was it good or was it like? <laughs> no, it was actually good. I Wait, think she was just one dramatic. Ten. Give us a give us. Was it a one through ten? What is it? Give it to us. Okay, I don't know about one through ten. Give it. I, a one we've had ten. better moments, but you every night can't be the best night you've ever had. You're like right, you know, that's not realistic. I was a little but tired, but it was good. And I but when she said, "Oh, I'm gonna call Shan and we're gonna go," I said, "Okay, that sounds fun to me." But I didn't think she was gonna want that, you know. But whatever, we're, which is the right thing to do. Like even I'm not a therapist. But when you go to therapy, a lot of therapists will tell you that people come when the relationship is already dissolved. Mm. It's like they come when the house is already burned down and they're like, fix my house. Like, you don't have a house anymore. Yeah. You guys are the opposite. You're like, I think the pipe is leaking. It's yeah. not even leaking yet. Every step of the you way. You just think it's leaking <laughs> and you're like, let's, let's go get some help. So, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah that's exactly how I'm going to look at it. And we're not really here to help you have better sex okay. but instead to expand your pleasure potential mm -hmm. and so you still might really enjoy the sex that you had three weeks ago but mm -hmm. we're to have different kinds of sex that could be equal feeling yeah. or just not not better but just different different, different. i like difference that's why we're here i'm excited let's get Ooh, into difference it difference always exciting too that's what i was trying to tell her i was like it's hard when you've been in a relationship for a long time you have to find ways to keep I guess re um the spark exciting each other you know and finding the same things that you were just so because in the beginning when it's new it's more it fire like, oh my yeah, god it's hey, so new it's like oh let me explore your body I've never seen your body before like you it's hard to recreate those feelings so it's every single relationship. I would say that like when you first get into a relationship, it's like getting on a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is get strapped in and like throw your hands up. It's yeah. all being done for you. All of those chemicals, those feel good things are trying to get you to bond together. Mm -hmm. And then once your brain is like, cool, we have them on the hook. We don't need to put each other through this like crazy roller coaster of emotions. You kind of miss that thrill though. Yeah. yeah. But now you just have to like recreate it for yourself. Damn, yeah. damn. And the roller coaster is now a go-kart. And one person's be in the back, being yeah. like, "How fast should this go?" Why right. is she so good? And analogies, I like know. every time. Like, remember the outside and the cold, and it was raining. Yeah, like I was we used that. Up, I left her outside yeah. in the cold the other day. Yes, yeah, she did in real life, though. But but you know who I thought about when I did it? You. <laughs> and she I made sure she came in. No, I swear to God, we use this analogy all the time. Yes. But she was spoiling me. She was you deserved me. it. You deserved yeah. it. But yeah, yeah. Like I said, you guys look stimulated. Yeah, you look juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Way different than last time we came. But let's yeah. get into it. All right, I'm excited. So we're talking about expanding our pleasure potential. I think there's three main ways that you should approach this. Okay. And one is through literal expansion, like finding tools and things that go outside of your body capabilities to okay. bring in more pleasure. Ooh. And then I want to talk about worshiping and how that can really elevate a sex life. And then okay. finally about the power of fantasy. Ooh. So I thought we would start here first because I feel like you're a visual learner, easy. Yes, very visual, very yes. visual. Yes. So this is the fun stuff. Um, this is all about expansion. It's Damn. like, Damn, I like to like think... a sex store. <laughs> I wanted to give you, in truth, people should go to a sex store. It's, okay. It's a really fun bonding couples experience. You go and you just think about like, what do I want to feel and how long do I want to feel it? And can this help me feel that way? Yeah. Every That's time I go, about. I only go to the, like the, 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 yeah. Oh. I don't need a whisper. You do this shit. The yeah. section. What do you call it? The dildo. The dildo section? Yeah. yeah. I but mean, we you know, always explore. But yeah, you no. do kind of. You, yeah. you got your section. Yeah. yeah. That's her, that's her that's section. My section. Yeah. 
it's like the grocery store. You always go to the exact same aisles over and over again. Yeah. Then you find yourself in a different aisle. You're like cooking with South Asian dressing. Who would have thought? Yeah. yeah. You could just get this whole other palette going. So it's okay. kind of like that. I want to give you guys a chance to explore. But before we start touching stuff, okay, okay. let's start with a questionnaire because this will inform us what aisles that we might be missing right now that okay. could actually be really, really pleasurable for one of you or both. There are a lot of different kink lists out there. Some of them can be booklets, so it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff you could be doing that you're probably not doing right now. Oh, I'm wow. doing a lot though. There's a lot more. If you ever look up like kink.com or different kinks, okay. there are pages and pages. Every letter has pages upon pages of things you could be trying. So what? there's always- Ooh, What's the website? Kink.com. <laughs> oh. But you can go to a lot of different places and find really good kink questionnaires. Okay. This is a pretty basic one. Okay. So it's one page, and let's see if there are things that are worth exploring that you guys are not exploring yet. Okay. Pretty self explanatory. You click off if you want to be a top or a bottom on these things. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. And I love that concept too because we always ask, are you a top or a bottom? Yeah. As if it's like one uniform thing. Where sometimes you oh. want a top in some areas, but you actually want to be bottom. Wait, areas. are you a, are you a top? I think I'm both. Sometimes I like doing things to somebody that I don't want done to myself. Oh. And sometimes there's things that I want done to me that my partner wouldn't want done to them. So. So you've been a top before. Are you yeah. talking about a top? Like no, maybe? I'm not talking about pegging. <laughs> I'm, <talking> about <laughs> I'm like. Share with the shit. Let's just, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's more giver and receiver. Got it, okay. Okay? All right, all right. We're using okay. top and bottom, but it's giver and receiver. Okay, okay, okay. got it. All right. All right. I'm so childish, I'm Good sorry. Luck. Okay, all right. here we go. Has its own because they also have mastery in front of your partner over here. Okay. So don't get that one. This freaky for me. They start with holding hands. Just cross with the first one, I don't get it. Okay, okay. All right, giving top and receiving. Oh, oh, okay. So for the ones that are just one bubble, you just check it if you want to do it or if you, you don't. If you like it, yeah. Oh, Got okay. It. Yeah. I love that freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up with your childish ass. <laughs> this is interesting. Chest, breast, nipple. Okay. Try helping. <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. Baby, come on. Don't look at mine. I'm not looking. Wait, wait. What? What's a vulva? Your vagina. <laughs> Wait, a vulva? Yes. What is vagina then? Did we make I that up? It's all the same thing. To share with exploration in mind. Okay. This is not an opportunity to be like, oh, I thought you were like this, and I'm okay. upset because you weren't the way that I thought you'd be. It's like, wow, I didn't yeah. know that about you. So okay. inviting fascination versus judgment. Okay. okay. That's the space. Okay. okay. It's good to be surprised by each other, even though you've known each other for so long. Okay. Okay. You're right. All right, yeah, so I'm going to say it, first. and you're going to just say if you are topping or bottoming, giving or receiving. Okay. Yes. All right, uh, the first three are just about do you like them? Okay. Do you s like masturbating? No. no. Both of you check no. Yeah, Not really. Like it. We'll, put a, we'll put a little button on that. That's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Holding hands. Yes. yes. Both yeses. Love it. Kissing. Yes. yes. Okay, so can I get your favorite and least favorite place to be kissed? Favorite spot to be kissed? Other than lips? No. Okay, but anyway, all things included. Damn, I mean, my top two at least, my lips and my neck. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to say your <laughs> Oh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I love getting ahead, so definitely my vagina and my lips. Least favorite. Least favorite? I don't think there's anywhere I don't like to be kissed. Mm, my least favorite is my nipples. It's just, it tickles. <laughs> you be seeing it like it's cringy to It is, it <laughs> tickles. It really, it tickles. I don't like that feeling. Trust me, as somebody right now who breastfeeds, my breasts have never looked better, but I don't want anybody to touch or think about them because they're so painful. So wow. I feel you. Wow. I yeah. totally feel you. All right, necking, kissing on the neck. Love it. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. yeses across the yeah. board. Activities that leave marks. Yes. yes. Both giving and receiving. So you like to receive marks? Yes. And you like uh -huh. to give marks? Yes. I like to receive marks. I don't, I think I like to, yeah, I do like to give marks too. Like hickeys, like things like that. Yeah. Do you guys mark each other right now? I try to, but she doesn't like it because- I don't want like, Nikki. I don't want like it on my neck because 
it just makes it very hard for like filming and stuff. I'm always like in front of the camera and our supporters really notice everything. Everything. But where you can't see, I don't mind that. Yeah, I love it. I want to be like, yeah, I did that. Last night was fucking good. When's the last time she gave you a hickey? Uh, oh, when we were in Paris. Yeah. That was a while ago. That was December. December. Yeah. Do you want a hickey right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, give her a hickey like right now? Well, yeah, why not? I think we're having fun and we're playing. <laughs> Somewhere other than I think you were really clear, not the neck. Yeah. Any other boundaries you want to put in place? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> I like this episode. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Give me one. Oh, sorry, baby. Sorry, here's a little. All right. Oh, oh the, not the neck because. Right. No, I'll, I'll stop about like, do you guys, let me ask you, this. You, oh. Do you like voyeurism? Do you like when somebody else watches you? Or? Never had it, but I love it. So do you want me to How watch? How do you say you yeah. love it? If you no, but it. in this relationship. Um, I've never had it in this relationship. Let me ask. Uh, do you want me to watch? Oh, I don't care. Do you want it though? Do I want you to watch? I don't think I really feel like I want it, but I don't feel like I care either. Like, I would for sure have sex in front of somebody. Do I have like this is new? We've never had sex in front of anybody. Cause we had, just cause we haven't doesn't mean I wouldn't. You never expressed I that. I told you that. What? Yes, we've talked about that what? too. I just spit on you. All right, it's getting crazy. All right, all right, here we go. Baby, come on, it's okay. Remember, we can never take this off the internet. <laughs> wow. wow. That was just this subtle. If you didn't, I, I'm happy you guys didn't look over at me. I would have ruined the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. Um, Wait, how are you looking at <laughs> I Wait, <laughs> get her face <laughs> Wow, she that was thrilling. Like... Uh, well, in the spirit of giving and receiving now, would you like to receive a hickey? Hell yeah. You want me to give you one? I want a hickey on my neck. Oh, Lord. Okay. Wait, my lipstick. That's that... all good. Okay. Oh, my God. What are we filming right now? <laughs> Lipstick you have on you. I don't know, Shannon. That's to be the judge. Oh wow. Well, that's definitely a hickey. <laughs> a hickey? That's 100 percent grade A hickey. Okay. And that was quick. Lipstick. See, that's how you know I'm sensitive, because like when we haven't given each other hickeys in a long time, they appear like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you like the outside of your genitals to be touched? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Giving and receiving? I love I love giving, but and I do love receiving, but not as much as giving, but I like giving. I mean, like receiving. Yeah. Like, I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. It's like 100% to giving and then like 75 to receiving. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? Where's the, where's the other 25% going? It kind of just like fades because we don't do it enough. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's like, all right, you know? But I do like it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Like, she doesn't do it. You know, so it's just like, all right, it's not, it's like not a thing that I think about as much because she doesn't do it as much or yeah. Yeah. I feel like for me, I like to receive it and I'm trying to like to give it, but it's, it's a different, it's different. Body. Well, there's, it's just different for so many reasons. Like this part of the conversation can get so deep. One, I, I feel like I didn't know for so long that she really liked that, like, so whenever I found it became a thing where it's like, oh, no, I want you to do that. It was just like, oh, shoot. OK, like it was kind of shocking to me. And then it was like, all right. And then we would try. But it, I don't think there's only been like a few like successful times, I think, where that I can think of because it always feels like kind of awkward, too, because since I'm not really used to it, I don't really know as well like as she does what to do, and then I can just see if she's not enjoying it. Yes. And I don't think it's just like I'm like I don't know if it's just me or if she just doesn't. I can tell what she loves to give. I don't know. I don't know. So it's just like 
but we're we've talked about working on that because we're like we need to work on that you know we need to work on it more but also too like most of the time that's not the first thing that she goes for you know to like most of the time it's she's the aggressor trying to give so it's a, it's an interesting like dynamic and i think we have just went so long with that not being like a part of like how we interact sexually that it's just like it gets kind of like put into the back burn i'll put onto the back burner and now we're like more so like all right we should explore more and so there is like more things for us to learn and explore with each other yeah so then can i ask a basic question then how do you get off when you guys have sex together i love uh i love giving a lot so that helps mm -hmm. you know but uh we have like ways I'm like, but you don't want to say on camera. You don't have to, but you know what? I think in general, we've done a pretty good job with this list. Okay. And the whole point is, is to have these conversations and to go a little bit deeper and be like, mm -hmm. oh, if receiving is really important to you, yes. I knew that we wanted to get there, but maybe we get a bit more active in finding strategies right now. Mm -hmm. And that's where all of this stuff can come into play yes. because yes. now it's like, well, maybe I don't feel that confident or mm -hmm. competent in it but I know if I bring in a toy, I will feel that and I can give you that pleasure. Which of these look good to you? That's a good so idea. So I would oh, love yeah. for you guys to just, I'll actually leave now. Hey. I'll be back in literally five minutes. This okay. is a crash course, but I, when I come back, I want to see what you guys gravitated towards. All right, hey. let's get it vibing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, baby. What, what? I mean, let me go first. Can I, oh no, we in the sex store. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. both looking. We see some Ooh. things. I mean, the first thing that really get, they get freaky right here. These anal beads right here. Yeah. You know yeah. how to use these? Yeah. <laughs> you know how to use these? Yeah. Why are you acting shocked? I mean, we did some <laughs> things, but beads too? Yeah. I know how to use them. I'm not saying that. Okay. Let's right. see what else is there here. <laughs> Oh, what did he? I like that. What a little suction. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty dope because it, it looks like similar to what we have. This is for like penetration, and this is for like the sucking. I like this one. Okay, nice. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, that's not maybe that's not real. Yeah, I think so far this one's my favorite. I'm just gonna choose the anal beads. I like this. Okay. All right. So I am very excited to see what you guys chose, what you gravitated towards to expand your pleasure potential. Mm -hmm. On three. One, two, three. Show it. Anal beads. Whoa. Yeah. What? You picked anal beads? Not for me. Oh. For her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is for her. This was, okay. What is supposed to choose I for me? <laughs> No, I think you just chose what you wanted to choose. Yeah, that's and because right. you're a giver, you chose yeah. something to give to your partner. Damn, so. that shows a lot. All right, interesting. How do you feel about anal beads? I'm open to it. I am. All right, so I would say I'm open to it because of the beads. She be trying to do full on like, and I'd be like, girl, she don't like that. Well, it's like, we don't ever do anything like that. And then you just be like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not how you do it. But I've definitely, I've used anal beads before. Yes, I always say when it comes to anal, it's like reverse <laughs> Russian doll. You know, Russian dolls, they start out big and they get smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller. It's the opposite. You want to start out with small and then get gradually bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Oh. So this is a great place to start. Also. It's such an amazing sensation to pull out anal beads while you're orgasming. So mm -hmm. it's a great expander for pleasure. So great choice. Wow. All um, right. What do you got? Oh, uh, I chose this thing. Oh, wow. This, I don't even know. I Should guess this is, this part's for penetration probably. And then this is for like yes. clitoris stimulation. Yes. Right? Is this to give or receive? Um, both. I would for sure like it. And we actually have something similar to this, but it doesn't have this part. Some things are just like too big for me. Okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think you're just. Big are you attracted to this too? I mean, it'd be cool if she would have tried all that. We, yeah. The cool. suction vibrators, when people have a hard time achieving orgasm, most people will direct you in this area mm -hmm. they suck while they also vibrate the area so it covers a lot of bases people can orgasm very quickly from it okay. and so if you wanted to try that on a partner i know amber loves these kinds of vibrators mm -hmm. oh she uses amber let me find out she'll freak she uses the penguin 
So it's got like a little eyes on it, and then this is the mouth. And <laughs> Amber. there's a bow tie underneath it. So Amber. Oh, Amber <laughs> talked about all those sex toys. But I didn't know which ones are her favorite. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, sure. so I think this is a great choice okay. to try for both of you. Oh, yeah. Try it. Uh, What's in that box? Oh, you should have got in it. This was your time to get nosy. See, I literally got nosy. I was like, man, you were not supposed to be in there. You were supposed to go in the top secret box. Oh. See? Uh, damn. Okay, wait. Let's part go. two. Part two. No! Right now! It has what? to be part two. Damn! Jeez. I know. I literally was like, oh, we're not supposed to be over here. Dang. Yeah, did you guys okay. even open this? No, no we didn't. We, we, we didn't open that. No, I remember I, I was about to open it too. I was yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah, we no. didn't open it. Whole we were like, oh no, like... she probably went to show us herself. All right, in the comment section below, what do you think are in these? Oh. Damn. Ooh. And that's the good thing about sex. There's so much more to explore. You don't have to do everything at once. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So aside from adding new things into the bedroom, it's about creating a new appreciation for each other, a new environment for the same sex to be totally different. Mm. And a really key way of doing that is reframing it so it's no longer like we're doing this just for pleasure, but we're doing this to manifest, we're doing this to worship, we're doing wow. this to show gratitude for wow. each other. You like that? We like yeah, that. that. Manifestation. Yeah. Cool. So there's, there's more spiritual and like deep. Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't have to meaning. take on like a spiritual meaning. It yeah, can just yeah, literally yeah. be an opportunity for me to just tell you like, I really think you're beautiful. Yeah. I think that you're so incredibly smart. And why not use sex as an opportunity to do that? Mm -hmm. So there's something that's called Yoni Puja, which okay. translates literally to vagina worship or mm -hmm. vulva worship. Mm -hmm. um, so it is an ancient practice that used to occur in India where people would come from all around the town Damn. to worship at the altar of a woman's vulva or vagina. But well, who's though? Anybody. It could be an average person or it could be somebody who's in high esteem. Oh, shit. And so would they would just sit there and let you worship it? Or? Yeah. Sometimes there'd be a physical body there. Sometimes there would be a representation. Of Wait, somebody just busting it open. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Where were we? Where yeah, is you this? You better worship this much time. Just like, that wow. Real... So it's deeper than thinking about just the physical act of when we're having sex. And I want to show appreciation for that act. Okay. But to you as a person, but specifically what is possible through your yoni. Oh, so I like the word for it instead of like the P word, yoni. Your yoni. Oh, so yeah, yoni like, sounds better. So if it's yeah. like because of your yoni, I am more energized to be the best me. Mm -hmm. What is something that I can physically bring to show that? Because of your yoni, I see beauty in the world. Maybe I bring some flowers to depict beauty and the beauty I see. Your yoni tastes amazing. It tastes like pineapple so i bring pineapple as an offering your yoni is incredibly nurturing and caring mm -hmm. so maybe you bring a blanket that feels really good for you They're like this is how you make me feel through okay. the power of your so wow. those are the kinds of items but you don't always have to have physical items okay. sometimes you can just say these words okay so because we don't have physical items that qualify which is fine. It's okay. No one's judging here. I'm a first timer. Um, I'm gonna bring shit and salad. Your yoni makes me want to eat healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought this chair out, and I think we should have some mini yoni puja ceremonies for each other. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. You gonna go first? Cause I love giving. Isn't that weird said? though that she doesn't like to give massages? She does like to give sexually. It's very interesting, huh? I mean, if, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose that. All right. Well, to be clear, you're down here. Oh. All right. I think on your knees is appropriate. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. So you're really... Think about this as an opportunity to affirm, mm -hmm. to show gratitude, okay. to manifest her higher self, uh -huh. and then again as well just to talk about how grateful you are that wow. she gives you access to this beautiful part of her body. Wow. I'm gonna give you guys some space, but uh, go okay. deep with it. <laughs> I'll go deep, as I can go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I talked to your yoni. No, talk to me, talk to me. She said your yoni. Well, I'm, you're talking to me about what my yoni does for you. I'm talking to your yoni. No, Lay back. Weird. Okay, this no. is the way. No, I can't. It's not such a okay. Dude, it's for, for PG version. I don't want you talking to my version. Okay, all right. PG version. We're gonna talk. To, I'm gonna talk to Nat, but y'all gotta understand. I'm supposed to talk to the Yoni. All right. I am so grateful for you. You keep me hydrated. Oh. oh. <laughs> I love you. 
I love you. I praise you. You keep me hydrated. Mm -hmm. You keep me moisturized. Mm -hmm. I love the way that you take care of yourself. Thank you. Um, I love how pretty you are. <laughs> I love the way you look at me. Mm. I love the way that you embrace me. And I love how strong you are. Okay. Your yoni is my yoni. Okay. Mwah. My turn. Okay. Get up. <laughs> oh, this is the most, this is so uncomfortable shit. <laughs> you. You got it, baby. Come on. You motivate me. Damn. My yoni motivates you? Mm hmm. Okay. You. Hmm. You're so giving. Hey, baby. Tells you a lot what she does with my yoni. <laughs> Babe! <laughs> All right. All right. No. Shay, we need you. Please help her. She She's nervous. What does she say? I think the fact that this exercise is hard for you guys is very telling. Not in a bad way, but like maybe we don't take the time to do this for each other because, mm -hmm. and I think this is a part of starting out as friends first. Yeah. Mm -hmm because we have a lightness, a banter, that makes these more intentional, serious moments seem silly. Yeah. Possibly mm -hmm. that's because you don't need them because you're like, I already know how you feel. I don't need to hear it. Mm -hmm. And if that's your truth, then maybe this exercise doesn't, isn't valid for you. Not everything is supposed to work for everybody, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. maybe it is that like, oh, I just actually don't know how to do this with you and I want to learn. Mm -hmm. um, but where you kind of lie on that, maybe it's time to really reflect on it. Like, do I want to hear more words of affirmation? Do I want to feel like I'm worshiped and appreciated in this way? There's also like, there's just this mystery in her masculine and femininity that I just don't know like what she's comfortable with me saying, what she mm -hmm. would want me to say, what she would want me to do, not do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this feels like a super interesting exercise right now. Do you know what and I, I love about it too? Mm -hmm. Is that you do want to think about it like I'm separating you from your yoni. Which mm -hmm. you should never do that because it's obviously all one. But the reason why you're intended to like lay back and just be worshipped for this one body part is because it's like I'm not, I'm giving this directly to this energy mm -hmm. force. And so maybe you don't think Easy needs it or wants it or you don't know how to talk to Easy about it. Mm -hmm. But if you detached her and you just expressed appreciation for her yoni, mm -hmm. what would you say? Mm -hmm. And if you don't have anything to say, what does that tell you? Mm -hmm. So maybe when you do it at home, you kind of reflect on what are some things you'd like to bring and maybe you put a towel over the person's face. Mm. And maybe you ask her to wear headphones <laughs> or even ask her to wear headphones more of the times. Just so it's like, I need to get it out there and just say it yeah. without feeling self-conscious of how you're going to receive and hear it. Uh -huh. And then you're like, oh, saying that aloud, like maybe you'd like to know these things, but it might just be on your own terms for it to be not on camera yeah, and not with the stakes this high. Yeah. Okay. I think more than anything, it's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> It's you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> so we talked about expansion. Mm -hmm. We talked about appreciation and yes. worship. Okay. I wanted to do fantasy. That is a whole other world. The mind, of course, is a planet on its own. Oh. And so I think we've covered enough today. So maybe okay. we can touch upon fantasy another time privately. Yes, um, she shot. You or if we want to bring we... the people along, <laughs> we'll do some fun stuff with that. Ooh. But I think you guys have enough to work with. I think yeah. so. I think so. I think it's going to be spicy already. Like, you I mean, we get spicy, but this is... This is different, different on a whole different level, and I'm really grateful we came. I do think we even learned stuff about each other that is like, wait, you like this? Like, mm -hmm. you don't mind doing this? Or yeah. you want this? Yeah, fire. Because it is interesting, yeah. It's just interesting how if somebody doesn't say it to you, you just don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I love you. I love you. 
Wow. What do you love about her yoni? You know, let's, let's not go there. We just okay. <laughs> What's great about this too is it gives people a jump off point depending on where their comfort level is, mm -hmm. um, which is also why I wanted to gift you with this toy. This Aww. is a great jump off to, it's, the, it's a little dusty. Okay. Um, but this- Unless we know it hasn't been used. It has not been used. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so- She's like, maybe one. Oh, that one. I think it used it. But what's great about this sex toy is that it's versatile. It's actually named the number one sex toy, not this particular brand, but just in general, okay. these magic wands. And wow. that's because you can use them for a multitude of things. Ooh. So whether you want to give somebody a massage, but you don't like giving them, but they like receiving them, yeah. this could be the happy medium. Yeah. Okay. Or you want to experiment with somebody's body, but you're not that confident yet, but yeah. you still want to be able to give them pleasure while still honoring your comfort zone. This mm -hmm. could be good. Damn. Okay. Or you want to fist each other. Wow. This toy <laughs> goes where you need it to go. All right. Um, well, we're going to be using this. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Shan. You're so amazing. We love you so yes, much. Thank, thank you, you guys for coming. I appreciate it. It's so much fun. Yes. Every time we leave, we just feel so rejuvenated. Yes, and different. Have so much to work on and just. All right. Yes. What is this that we're doing right now? Just, you don't know, but if it's aimed like the hickey, I like to watch. <laughs> I think today's session was very illuminating. I think it's gonna spark a lot of very interesting and important discussions for them. Some freaky, some a little bit more intense. And I definitely think they're gonna have incredible sex tonight, but I think more than that, tomorrow morning they're gonna wake up and have some real discussions that can deepen their relationship in every way. So as always, I'm excited to see how they evolve and grow, and I'm happy to be a part of the process. And I think they did all the work by themselves, but uh, yeah, today was really, really great.